Hey everybody, and welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. Um, we had just spilled our guts to AJ the... Obviously she's a journalist. She's obviously a journalist. And I think now, um, we're gonna head downtown. I could probably quick travel there if I was smart. And, um... We're looking for everyday guns, yep. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet up that cop that we rescued and see what he wants from us. Um... Meanwhile, at some point, maybe we'll find kebab spices. I have... I don't know. But here's Navara. Let's talk to him. Do we have... I have so many healing items. Um, all right, whatever's good. So, you made it. You want to hear what I've got for you? Yeah, what's up? The deal is this. That gang, the Slicers, got a hangout by the industrial zone. Mm-hmm. I need someone to sniff around and see what they're up to. Okay. Can you do that? And report back with what you turn up. Hell yeah. Um, sounds easy. I'm on it. That's, that's easy. Uh, let's go to the industrial zone. Right? Because that's, that's where he said. I should really listen. <laughs> yep, cool. Alright, let's just check it out. I've been waiting for an excuse to check this place out anyway, so. Oh, look. It's a Slicer's Warehouse. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Ow, okay, so you can hit me up the, the hill. That's, that's just dandy, isn't it? I really like how this is how I investigate what's happening. Investigate. investigate. <laughs> hey, Navara, I hope that you wanted me to investigate by killing everybody that's there. Ooh, a high-end data chip. That is... Actually, that's a thing that gives us experience, isn't it? Yeah. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Um, I did see the entrance to the warehouse. I'm not super blind. I just want to take a peek around here. Oh, good. That's what I thought. There would be some more of these clowns around. Okay, that seems good. Um, let's reload our pistol, even though it wastes the remaining shots. Um, then let's heal, I think. Maybe use a focus thing just in case. Yeah, I'm fine with it. All right, we're supposed to look around, air quotes. So let's look around down the barrel of our gun. She saw us already. Yo, you guys are really good at noticing stuff. I'm just not gonna fight you. Hold on. Oh god, I'm getting pounded on. Hold on. Alright, I just wanna. This is not how you're supposed to go around this. Come on. Oh, God. Three-hit combo, dude. All right, let's reload. No, let's climb up here. One thing I do like is, like, okay, I know it's exploitive, but I really like how the bad guys are kind of stupid in this game. Like, I find it endearing. I find it fun. It allows me to kind of strategize and bait them around. I'm going to use my other health kit. And then I'm going to um, jump into the Matrix really quick and take out this camera. Alright, take out... Oh, those are guys. I don't need to attack them, I don't think. I mean, I could. Now let's just get out of here. As long as I'm not going to set off the alarm again, I think I'm fine. Noise. Uh-oh, don't hang down. Okay. Even though he, they just there was a bunch of gunfire, they didn't, they didn't hear me. Alright, so Taser Guy is, is definitely rough, but he's not as rough as, like, Cybernetic Ninja. So we're gonna just hop over here. And then perfect, jump down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, 
Get him! Okay. <laughs> I am having a, having a day. Alright, um, cool. That definitely seems sufficiently in investigated. Can I get up there? No. Alright, well then let's just jump over here. Oh, it's one of those guys. And I can't stealth kill them. Or at least I remember not being able to. I'm not sure. I can't save while I'm on a ladder. Let's try. Nope, no takedowns. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, buddy. This is gonna be stressful. Um. Okay, I've got a plan. Okay, we're saving our stim packs because we have so many of those. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Go in the matrix. Hack this dude's brain. Alright, hack this dude's brain. Yep. Okay. No, don't climb ladders forever. Then we're just gonna keep doing that. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from just keeping him stunned. For a little bit, anyway. Oh my god, stop. Stop recovering so quickly. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. So that strategy's not exactly the greatest. Let's try this again, shall we? Um, oh, I'm back here. Okay. So let's, let's just do some stuff really quick. Can you stop, please? Thank you. Alright, cool. Um, then, what I'm gonna do... Is I'm not actually sure if hacking them targets their friends. It doesn't. Sweet. Ha! Perfect. Okay, he saw me a little bit, so let's back up. Alright, there's him. There's these two. So what I want to do, actually, is I want to hack this guy. And then, in the time that he's, like, messed up, I'm going to jump over here. Good enough. Oops. Oh, I can just act. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop doing this really boring hacking thing over and over again, but just hold on. I could take him down just like that. That's really, really interesting. So then, what I can do is hack this guy. Cool. I am the stealthiest ninja that has ever ninjaed. That was incredible. Um, I might have just found, like, a new way to play this game. Because, like, I know the hacking minigame is boring, but it's so fast now. And, man, it makes it so you can take down anybody. Well, with the exception of these large guys. Um, okay, so now what do I got to do? I think, I think my pro plan is to do this. That's fine. And then go over here. Okay, now... Oops, I fell off my ladder. Great. Um, so that really didn't affect much then. Because what I want to do... Yeah, is... There. Now I don't have to deal with him for at least a little bit. And like, well, this isn't perfect. Oh, Lurch, you're so slow. You did your best. Um, what's this button? Okay. So now. Oh, he died. Great. I don't even have to feel bad. Well, okay. That is the exact opposite thing that you're supposed to say, but yeah, he... I don't feel that bad. So that... What did that open? $100, okay. Um, I pushed a button, 
some stuff happened. But what stuff? Something else outside the area. Maybe it was like, yeah, maybe it was a, a door outside the area. That could very well be. Let's not worry about it for right now. Let's just climb up there and go through that door into the office. Maybe they have a computer or something we can hack. That is really annoying. Half the time I just fall off of ladders spontaneously and the other half of the time I continue ladder climbing into nowhere. Like, as illustrated as such. Um, rough. Okay. Um, kebabs and beer. Yeah, there's a network here. Okay. Okay, there's plenty of loot in here. Um, let's focus up a little bit. Now let's give it a shot. And I am aware that this is possibly the most boring part of this game, so I'm going to just try to be relatively efficient throughout these sections. Which basically means using Pulse Wave, even though I like the other attack better. It's just so good at killing swarms of dudes. Look at that. Alright. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm just getting wrecked by that thing. I was thought I was being cool. I was not cool at all. Okay, hold on. Wow, I just got like... Yeah, I might... I'm about to get brain damage. Alright, info. What do we got? Mr. Hank, we have some new parts for you. If you like those, cut a deal. Usual spot. If you've got the cash, say 500 credits. You don't want to make us waste your time. It's good to hear from you. Been a while. Did your kids get in trouble with the cops or something? Bring in 500 creds until you tell me what you're selling. That's not how it works. What you got? Ammo clips, silencer, scopes? It better be in good condition. The last batch you sold me, half of it was useless. You still owe me an ID trap, remember? So Hank is in it with these slicers. That that makes me sad. I liked Hank a little bit. But I guess there's no such thing as an honest gun shop owner, is there? From Fixer to Shinji. Um, man, I finally managed to get that radio room upstairs to work. It was tricky stuff. Had Freddy to, had to get Freddy to help me and still some static. We can catch some old waves off some illegal FM networks. The lot. We can even broadcast stuff ourselves. We just need to do a bit of tinkering. I'll have to set the switch, uh, the left switch to T for transmit, and then choose a frequency. I guess we'll have to agree on one if we want to set up our own radio station. And you can fiddle around with the RF amplifier. But I wouldn't set it to max unless you want to fry any receiver around. Anyway, then turn it on. Have fun. That's interesting. That's going to be, that's going to be interesting. So they're setting up, like, a pirate radio network here. Okay, wait for my pulse wave to regenerate. That's nice, a little bit of healing. Um, okay, so that's a log out. So that's like gonna be my early exit. This just looks like it's looping back around to where I was already. But that's fine, I just wanted to see. I wish I could zoom out in these maps and see like what I'm missing and what I'm not missing, but whatever. Oh, okay. I got you, fam. Last bit of info. From Greaser to Freddy. Dude, that Lydia chick is going to be trouble. She was on the phone earlier, freaking about, about some elite soldiers from Armagear and a Connor-type guy coming after her. Sounds bad, man. We should drop her before this gets out of hand. Screw the cash. Can't take on Armagear, man. Armagear was the people that were attacking me in the opening cutscene. The guys that use lots of curse words. I wore heavy armor suits. So... I don't know what this does. Oh, it's obviously not doing it anymore. Oh. Oh, I see what it did. It moved this crane. Got it. Ship parts? I don't know where they fit, but they must have some value to deck sailors and deckhands. Well, I know, a, I know a guy with a boat that he's... V interested in keeping running. That was not what I meant to do, but I'm glad I didn't die. Alright, um, I think that's all that we needed here. I'm trying to protect some woman called Lydia. Apparently elite soldiers left her. Alright, so let's go talk to let's go talk to Navarro. Um and then let's go talk to our friend at the docks. Actually, let's do the docks first. Maybe we can just push some parts and sell them. He might know what we need, even if 
I mean, his boat is a glorified pontoon boat, but even glorified pontoon boats need a little bit of love. Hey, bud. You're back. Do you need something? Uh, what can you tell me about this part of the city? The docks. All storms and plain sailing. On his seamen, most. A few bad seed. Landy's all. The cops keep an eye on us, but they let us get on with our business for the most. Okay. As long as you don't get in their way, you're free to do what you will. And a whole lot of business is going through here. Okay. It isn't just the gulls that are circling. You're the okay, back. so you don't you don't need boat parts. I stand corrected. Um back to downtown. Go talk outside of everyday guns. And I think I leveled up, didn't I? Yeah, I could pick my new my new thing. Hey bud. Did you find anything out? Yeah, I found an email, one about Lydia and Connor. Connor? So he's back in town, huh? That slime-sucking hunk of ironhide. Working for Armageer. Hmm. Huh. Well, if he's in on this, we've got ourselves a triple-A titanium problem. Man's a machine, and I mean for real. And I'll not get a better chance to take him down than this. Look, kid. Things just got serious. If you want to back out, we're cool, okay? Sure, uh, but it sounds like you and Connor have you a history. Could say that. We used to be Oh, buddy. Damn good team. But he took it personal. The bad guys were even better. Those cops don't get the implants and firepower we need on the streets. And nothing got Connor more pissed than being outgunned. So, he went solo. Had augments done out of his paycheck. The thing turned into a thing. Leveling up till there was barely a human left in him. And it's the human that knows when you're doing wrong. Soon he was out selling his gung-ho to whoever had the cash. The PD don't smile on moonlighting, especially not mercenary work. Lost his badge. And with it, his last drop of sense. Damn well became what we used to be fighting. What I still am. Ah, uh, alright. That, that's a sucky story, dude. What about Lydia? Do you have any idea who she is? Well, I'm guessing she hired the Slicers to protect her from Armageddon. Would explain why they're upping their hardware. But she's some new kind of dumb if she thinks the Slicers will hold off Connor. What's Armageddon? Only one of the biggest private security corporations in the world. Got clients all over, protecting uranium mines, embassies, VIPs, hell, even a dictator in one country and revolutionaries in the next. And Army Gear does more than just protecting. Hits, cleanouts, infiltrations. They even have a research division, weapons manufacture, a bona fide apocalypse incorporated. All right, well, you told me I could be out, but what exactly do you intend to do? If he's involved with the Slicers, against them as it looks, and this is my shot at finally busting his ass. All right. Wait a long, long while. All right. Planning, too. Got a couple of ideas how to level the playing field if it comes to knuckles and guns. But I could still use a hand. Should you be offering, that is. Ah, uh, I'm in. Tell me what I need to do. Well, Connor's all about his augmentations. I did some research, and I reckon we can disable or screw with him. At least his demolition arm and the combat drug he's hooked on. Demolition arm? That one's old. The first implant he ever got. It snapped a few necks and it's time, I can tell you. And sure as hell you don't want to be on the receiving end of its fist either. I only know the model's name. Sensor Tech 3DS 1200. If you find someone specialized in implants and hardware, maybe they could tell you how to disable the damn thing. Uh, what about his combat drug? Well, it's Interzine. Powerful pain override with a quick heal stimulant. I know there's a counter drug, but it's real tough to find. Maybe if you've got some backstreet connections. Alright, I'll get to work. I'll be back if I find anything. That's very interesting. Um, okay. So I definitely need more ammo for my magnum. Possibly even a better gun, but... How'd you do, straight? Um, let's sell all this junk I don't need. Um, Herbert Prime's most popular tattoo magazine. Keep in my antidepressants for George. Um, I don't really need all this ammo for the gun I can't even use yet. 
So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Keep that. Oh, I have one of those now. I just can't use it. Well, now I feel like an idiot, but that's fine. I'll just, I'll just keep it. Um, can I buy that back? Yeah, at $120 each. Fuck that. Um, do you have any healing items that I could use? Yeah, you have a couple of these. Um, let's do that. Let's buy back the ammo that I just gave you. And then let's go look at everyday guns really quick. Because you know what I might do with my level up is I might, um... I might buy that fourth point of range so I can handle submachine guns. Because that would give me another tool to fight in that dude. Um, it's really hard to say. Multi-shot sounds really good, but let's just do this. Because you know what, maybe, maybe it'll be helpful. Um, so then, what I'm going to do real quick is equip that to, yep, third slot. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put... Oops. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna also put um, stimulants and health kits. Oh, lordy, this is frustrating. There we go. Maybe, maybe I'll stop panic going into the menu, um, and I can actually just use this because this also pauses the game, so it's a little bit less silly, actually. All right. Um, Welcome back. EMP gun. We go. All right. So I have to do a couple of things now, really quick. I have to spend this. I then also have to redo these in order of like best to worst. So I'm gonna put those there, those there, and those there because then I can actually like use them later instead of just uh, guessing. Oh, buddy, I'm so excited. Um, let's stick with the magnum for now. It's a good all arounder. Um. Okay. So now let's go talk to about implants with the good doctor. And by the good doctor, I mean the incredibly skeezy possible rapist doctor who is still on my shit list. However, the game isn't gonna let us get away from him that easy, so we'll just talk to him. Fucking asshole. Oh, man. Hey, jerk. Hello again, Dex. What can I do for you? I need your help disabling an old combat arm model. Demolition arm. Sensor Tech 3DS 1200, huh? Yeah, they sure don't make these anymore. Good solid build, though. Look, I, I won't even ask why you're messing with one of those. Yeah, I, I'm afraid I don't know much about those. Uh, let me check. Maybe I have an old brochure somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Take a look. Yeah, it should show you the space. You can see the frequency it operates at. That'll help if you've got a powerful radio transmitter nearby. Set it to that frequency and it'll overload the arm. Just as long as it's within a decent range. You know, it's funny because I just learned about some radio hobbyists that we're going to be fighting there. Hello again. Um, yeah, I don't have any money for implants, but I am definitely coming back for some. I gotta, you know, gotta make that mad money um, when I'm not spending it all on health kits and ammo for my guns. That is a Shadowrunner's life. All right, let's talk to our good friend in Fixer's Hope, the guy that I don't hate, despite him being monotone and possibly heavily medicated and the slowest talker in the business. He might know a thing or two about the drug we need to counter. Hey, Returner. What may I help you with this time? I better know the counter drug for endozine. Endozine? You know it's for Cybernox, right? Anyway, yes, a counter drug does exist, but you shan't find it on the street. I could manufacture you some, but for that I'd need some actual endorsing. Okay. Bring me some, and I'll brew you an antidote. It's the best I can do. Alright, alright. That's not bad. Um, with that... Get some endodine, huh? Alright. Um We'll just keep our eye out for that. Let's move on with the rest of the story. I, I don't wanna spend too much time beating around the bush here. Although I keep flicking between these irritatingly. Um
Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's the next step. Um, go to Tony's, I suppose. Sounds good. Hey, buddy. Hey, other buddy. I'm going to focus recharge really quick. Um, hey, hold on a sec. Wow, Dex! Looking badass. How does it feel? <laughs> a bit like I married a toaster. Yeah, <laughs> that's nothing. I met a donut seller with a full brain implant once. Threw an old lady into a puddle just so he wouldn't get his feet wet. Oh, but I digress. So, uh, I got some new software. Take a look. You might find something useful. Um, yeah, sorry about everything. You're taking a lot of risks. It's good of you. Yeah, well, you guys didn't leave me much of a choice. But it's all good. Raycast needing some Tony assistance. That's a new level of cool right there. Uh, so what is this place? Office? I live here. Everything. Servers, data drives, CPDs. It's my farm. The tea farm. All for work in the grid. I dish my services, get paid. Y'all welcome. I'm not sure I get it. What exactly is your job? Job? I'm Tony the Provider. A walk-in, talk-in, cyber-dealing solution. Okay, not much walk-in, but if anyone needs to bust into a game day account, these servers will shake off heat quicker than an icy thing. Need to mine some V-credit to level up on Misty Wizard? My bots dig faster than a rabbit. I got me clients from the East Coast Dan Banners to the West Side Hissy Fits. You help fanboys hack video games? I made an aim bot for Annie Strike. Okay. Dude, isn't it dangerous with all that video game well, security? Well, guy's gotta roll with the punches, you know. But I'm not as big a fish as you might think. I mostly stayed home. I was beginning to get impressed. Um, so I know how to access cyberspace. What can I do with it? What can you do? If you get your skills up to me and Decker's level... Thank you, thank you. You can only hack like any data fortress, snatch info, disable security systems, plant viruses. So all that stuff I've been and doing already. with that already. weird ass ability of yours, the freaky no jack thing, man, we should be talking about what you can't do here. Very briefly, I mean, technically, you should be able to hack into anything or anyone from anywhere. That sounds pretty useful, but... Those defenses were tough to well, crack. you'll get better with experience. But there is one other way. Get your hands on some special software. Programs that'll make kicking ice even easier. Hey, kicking ice! <laughs> See what I did there? Great. Looks like you're gonna um, be hanging here for a while. Just please don't touch anything, okay? Yeah, what, other, what extra Hello? software you got? It's me. Tony the Provider. Sure I have. Check out my rep. Great. Fine, fine. I'll see what you. have you got, bud? Just talk to me, all right? He's got a data cube. He's got some data chips. There. Okay, here we go. So I can upgrade my stuff here. And Spammer. Paralyzing shots. Okay, okay. That's actually really useful that I can buy stuff from Tony. I need money so bad. Like, what could I sell? I mean, I could sell... Hmm. Yeah, I could really use some more money. Um, all right, so having hit things off with Tony a little bit and having him offer to sell me software, I think this is a good spot to take a pause. Let's move on with the actual plot of the game next time on Cyberpunk TV.